KC man and veteran politician Simeon Nyachai was laid to rest in his rural home in Kisi County. National leaders and politicians led by President Uhuru Kenyatta have mourned him as a patriotic leader who served with dignity. Our reporter Josh Onsare attended the function and prepared the following report. Top leadership led by President Uru Kenyatta, his deputy William Ruto, veteran politicians, cabinet secretaries, permanent secretaries, MPs, county leadership and Kenyans made their way to Gusi Stadium to pay their last respects to Gusi veteran politician Mze Simeon Nyachae. President Kenyatta eulogized Mze Nyachae as a disciplinarian and a dedicated patriotic leader to be emulated. The Honorable Mze Nyachae was a great son of Kenya whose immeasurable contributions to the nation spanned many decades and inspired millions of Kenyans. In the passing of the Honorable Nyachai, we are all deprived of his leadership, great passion, determination, and energy towards serving our country. And posthumously, President Kenyatta directed that Gusi Stadium be renamed to Simeon Nyachai Stadium as a recognition for his contribution to society. As a government, we have considered it fit to rename this stadium the Simeon Nyachai Stadium Kisi. The deputy president termed Nyachae as a straightforward leader who modeled many modern-day political leaders. As Mze Nyachae rests, he speaks to us, and he speaks to us loudly. Looking at his life, he had the option of waiting to share what his father Mze Nyandusi had. But he chose a different route. That instead of waiting to share what was there, he decided to create more. While addressing the mourners, BBI proponent and ODM leader Raila Odinga eulogized Mzenya Chae as a great leader but didn't miss a chance to popularize the BBI agenda. Nyachae yes, is somebody who schooled in the tradition of the British civil service, which basically promotes excellency and uh, uh, correctness in service of the people. Today is not politics, but I can say BBI. Thank you. Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka and ANC's Musalia Mudavadi also remembered Simeon Nyachae as a great and dependable leader. This man contributed immensely to the well-being of Kenya. May his soul rest in eternal peace. To the Abogusi, you give us a good son. To the Grace and the Nyachai family, you lend us a very good patriotic father and Kenyan citizen. Can, can clear from our image the fact that we are here to bury a real patriot and national leader. May God rest his soul in eternal peace. Members of his family recalled with nostalgia the fallen father and husband. The better for me was much longer than for us when it became necessary for me to serve him. I had no reservation. I was ready to look after Mze because over the years he had invested in me, he had loved me so deeply and for better was so long. As we lay you to rest today, I want to promise you that I will do my part towards your family remaining as you had built it and as you would like it to remain.
Gusi Council of Elders Chairman Mzee Matundura said Nyachai's ambition for the Kisi community was unity and the fight against corruption. Parasaletu, wachukwe yale yote mzee alituambia, tuyatumie, tuyangalie kwa, kwa makini, tuendere nae itasaidia chami ya wakisi kapisa. With Simeon Nyachai's book being closed today, the Kisi community will be looking forward to identify a leader who is going to propel and raise the community's voice in the political status nationally. Josh Onsare, TV47, Kisi County. Thank you.